Oh, my finger. Here's a video of it working. As you can see, I turn on YouTube. I'm back at again with another video, and today's video is I'm going to be fitting um, a subwoofer that I already had that I first had in my 1.2 Corsa. But then when I built that sub for the VXR, um, basically I just gave it to my friend in it, but he's getting a new car now, so he gave it back to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit it in the Fiesta, and yeah, so the Fiesta going to have some bass. You get me? <laughs> Alright guys, here's the sub. Obviously the other one's in the VXR because I got two subs in it. As I said when I said um this one didn't hit like I wanted it to, so I built my own one, took the speaker out of it and put it in the one I built. So I had another spare one of these and just dashed it in there. And this it's quite a decent one I guess. So yeah, I'm going to run the wires, got them there. And yeah. Well, I've seen online people run it from here down to the down to in there so that's what i'm gonna uh, try and do and then through here and then inside there you go got it going through there pushing it down there and hopefully i'll be able to see it to pull it through well yeah i can see it right there let me try and get my hand in there to pull it through It's gonna be tricky getting getting that, isn't it? Oh, got it through. Now I'm just gonna pull it. Light work. And it should go all the way to the back and reach there. Now I've got to get it through this grommet right here, so I'm gonna have to do a hole and try and get it through. So I'm gonna get a screwdriver right now. I'm trying to get a screwdriver. I get a flat and use one of these ones. Make a little hole in two. Nothing's gonna touch, it's right underneath everything. So now it's gotta to get to the back. I'm gonna take all these off so I can run the um, wires properly. Just put this up real quick. I'm gonna get a slide under there. But yeah, I'm gonna get it all the way through to the back. doing right now putting it in the carpet if I can cable ties I'll cable tie to this but I don't unfortunately this all fell out of the top bare hand sanitizer and stuff and I'm going to tuck it up underneath this I'll be back once I've tucked it all the way around. Can't see any wires yet. And around this bit, literally just tuck it in underneath the plastics. And yeah, I'll tuck it all around there, through into there. Yeah, power wire's been ran all the way 
through here you can't see anything down there or not down there and it comes straight through to the back like this and it's gonna just bow join up now i need to run the remote remote wire and this one should just be easy just run it through all the same way. Just wiring the arm, the remote cable. Basically, this is what I do. I just get it up in there. Anyway, it's not hard. And yeah, just get it all the way around to the back. And through here, and yeah, I'll be back when I've done that. And um, also this one, and the grounds. I'm gonna probably go do the ground up there somewhere. Now that's all been ran. I'm about to do this one, the RCA cable, and yeah, should be up and running soon. The last cable, and then I gotta do the um the ground cable which is kind of short but we'll make it work i might connect it to one of the seat bolts underneath the seat or up in here i can see a bolt over there all the cables are run as you can see you can't see anything and yeah all the cables have been run just need to do the earth up there and connect everything we're ready to go but now here comes the headache bit i'm gonna have to hardwire this in to the actual radio into the um speaker wires so we can have signal they're gonna start to come off now there's going to be so many wires there it's going to be kind of hard to know um, which wire I need okay so I'm guessing I'm well confused right now <laughs> well confused so I guess I'm just going to disconnect this display whatever oh, I think that's, that's that's just basically it guys so I'm going to have to find the rear speaker wires. I'm going to find the rear speaker wires and then basically just use this with it. And I'll be back once I'm done. But I found the wiring loom that I'm going to need. And I just got to find the rear um, speaker cables and connect it to the two rear ones this one's not needed here this this one's not needed whatsoever just these ones so i'm going to look on the net right now and i'm going to try to find which one's the rear ones and i'm going to cut them attach this and then i'm going to plug this into this Where is it gone? so this needs to get up there so I'm gonna get this up there first as well. All right, guys, I found the two rear left and rear right, one of them. So basically it goes like this, these two to those two, these two to those two, and these two to these two. I've got the electrical tape. I might have some crimps, some crimp tools in here. Um, because I've got a crimper as well, so I've just got to see if i got any crimps. Oh yeah, I've got some crimps and stuff, so I'm probably just going to use my crimps and crimp it. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of audio stuff in there, which is very good. So I'm just going to, it's kind of dusty and old, but I'm just going to do the wires. Yeah, 
drums in the crimp pit. And yeah, guys, I have more to come for the Fiesta as well. I'm going to get like one of those big Tesla screens. Um, I'll insert a clip now of, of, of what I'm speaking about. And yeah, so I'm just gonna clip the wires and then um, hardwire it in to the actual system. I'm flipping out. guys as you can see the positive with this positive the negative with the white stripe with this negative the positive with the this one the negative this is negative remember this this is the back right or back left back right or back left these ones with the white in it are positive for each side these ones with the brown in it are negative so I've just done everything. Obviously it's not power cable, so you don't really need to use electrical tape. You can if you want to, but I didn't have any, I ran out of electrical tape, so I just used what I had. And then now I'm about to just tape them back together like this. And yeah, this one's not needed. And there you go. Just taped it back all up and I'm just gonna connect this to the back of it. And yeah, and then connect these two. Um, this so guys it's in these are connected down here as you can see and yes all in this is all in how it's meant to be the wires all going down here and yeah i'm about to put this thing back on now and yeah it's back in now so i'm gonna connect connect it and then i'm gonna start the radio to see if you know everything's still working like how it should be found there's already on the ground so I'm just gonna tap into this um, using this or something smaller and yeah I should have a ground and put everything on and it should be ready to go all right guys so I've um, crimped this bit of the ground cable and now what I'm doing is I'm sanding down here so there's bare metal contacts so then when I've ground it, you know, it has bare metal contacts. So I'll get back to you once I've done that as well. There you go now, as you can see, it's just bare metal now, ready for it to fill it on. So yeah, all in there nicely and everything. And now this is ready to go in. I'm gonna connect everything and see how it works. Guys, it's all done, all we're doing now. It works. Also, um, that speaker right there literally was blowing. So, uh, I put uh, the old one back in there. And yeah, let me just put on the radio channel real quick. There you go. It's all plain, just need to fit this in again. Everything's back how it used to be, no wires. Yeah, it's all working. There's a video of it working, as you can see. I changed the speaker, it's playing the radio at the moment. I changed the speaker to back to the 
um, one of the vibe one. All right, guys, I've got to do an outro. It's night time now. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and support the things I always say.